Meat bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another unofficial community patch 4.0 farm here on Borderlands 2. Ah, oh, today we may as well get this out of the way. I don't know why I'm um, I don't know why I'm actually not looking forward to this. I think it was after how bad things went last time. But today we are going to be farming Bridget Hodunk because she now drops the Kiss of Death. Um, there was two drops added to the Happy Couple, um, which I can't remember what Colin Zafford's was, but um, I'm pretty sure they're Moxie weapons or shields, etc. Um, but we managed to get Colin Zafford's to drop. Uh, learned a lot, remembered a lot about how to farm them and stuff like that. But uh, today we are going to uh, try and get the kiss of death from her. Um, so one thing to bear in mind is to try and get the health down on both of them pretty quickly. And then kill them both pretty quickly. Because if not, um, then it's well we're going to have a bad time really. So uh, we'll not kill them. And we'll make sure that we... Uh oh, she's running away. That doesn't happen very often. Uh, yeah, if we kill them both, uh, if we kill one and not the other, then the other one just revives. God, that was close. So we'll try and get them both down. Uh, we need to also remember to keep getting these guys down as well, because if not... Right, please don't let me kill you. Right, that is enough from her. Uh, Colin Zafford is going to be a pain in the backside with that blooming corrosive damage, though. Um, oh, that's Bridget. Damn it, I want Colin. Right, he's nearly down. I think she is down, isn't she? No, she's not. There we go. I think I got them both at the same time. Oh, don't get me down, Melon Stomper. Do not get me down. That's an ultimate badass. Probably don't want to go there. Well, that went well. I killed them both pretty quickly. We're going to need to do this as well in the next episode to get that fish from Rue the Love Fresher. Um, wow. First time drop. The Kiss of Death. Did he drop his? I want to know what his was. But now we've got the drop first time. The incendiary kiss of death. Let's auto equip that quickly and give it a try out. Wow, how can things go so much better this time? Holy crap, that thing moves low and quick. Well, I don't think we're going to see it go off. Did that? Did the balloon come down yet? Oh no, there it is. Uh, so yeah, wow. Two minutes in. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Now we'll uh, we'll carry on a little bit. Um, and also, while I'm here and I've got that fish, I want to go and see if we can spawn Ruin very quickly. I'm not going to kill him or actually spawn him in because that will be for the next episode. I want to do these separately so they all get, you know, documented separately and uh, people can just watch him, uh, well, separately, <laughs> basically. Uh, we'll open these chests up as well because I think you get these chests when you kill the, uh, the Zaffords and Hodunks. So we'll make sure we do that uh, every time. We'll probably go for two more farms of the happy couple and just see if we can get Collins to drop again or maybe another kiss of death from um, Brigitte. But um, I just want to see if we can just use that fish because um, I'm hoping that next episode when we spawn Ruin that you don't have to go through all of the freshers, get all the baits for them um, and then farm the happy couple to get the fish. Now that we've got the fish we should be able to just spawn Ruin straight in. That has confirmed it. We can just get Rue to come straight in. In fact, I'm just going to double, double, triple check that we can get Rue to come in. I'm actually going to get him to spawn, but we won't kill him. No. I'm trying to do an experiment here, thank you. Right, that is Rue, and he's in. Yes, right, that's good then. Uh, I'm still going to kill him, but I'm not going to look. I really want to look, but no. So that's helped us no end for next episode. Instead of going through the whole blooming DLC, picking up bait, killing all the threshers, killing the happy couple, and then spawning ruin, we can just literally kill a happy couple, and off we go. So, wow, today's gone pretty good, actually. So let's get two more kills of uh, the happy couple in, just to see what the drop rates are like and things like that. See if we can get both things to drop today. Like I said, though, it doesn't matter. We've already got Colin's drop, and now we've got Brigitte, so we are technically done with that. Um, so yeah, while I was uh, while we're doing this as well, I was thinking as well, gauging opinions. I'll probably end up doing it anyway. But uh, if anyone's watching this, I was thinking um, of doing another hunt soon. Um, 
I think the, the actual official hunt's just come out not long ago. Actually, technically, I think it's finished now. Someone's already won it. Um, but last year, obviously, I spent a lot of episodes doing a normal hunt, um, my own like version of it, and it went down pretty well. People actually liked it, um, which I was quite glad about. Um, but also, um, I was thinking of doing another one at some point, um, a speed hunt style one. Um, let's go for her quickly. Uh, I was doing a, a speed hunt, uh, which I drafted out many, many months ago, but then obviously modded weapon guides came out and all that. Um, I need to keep an eye on where Colin is. Because I can't see him. Is he dead? He's dead already, isn't he? Oh, he is. Right. Um, yeah, I was thinking of doing a speed hunt. I got it all drafted out after I finished the, uh, the last hunt. Um, but... I never got around to it because the modded weapon guides coming out and things like that. There you go, Ruby, that was it. So I've got the Ruby and the Kiss of Death. Wow, got both to drop. Did she drop her Kiss of Death? Let's see if we can get a double drop. No, she didn't. Anyway, yeah, so I was, got it all drafted out and then modded weapon guides came out and things like that. I've had loads of things um, happening. So I never really got around to it, but I did plan on do, you know, not starting it straight after the first one anyway. But I was thinking the other day, before I start the speed hunt, which is just basically um, a much faster, quicker version of the hunt that we did last year. Last year we kind of was like, you know, we don't want to get too many in too many episodes, blah, 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 span it out a bit, which is good. Uh, I did enjoy it. I was planning on doing a much quicker one where we just absolutely flew through everything. Uh, obviously some like the pills in Borderlands 1 that are going to be hard. Um, and I've like made it a bit quicker by instead of getting all the pills off the list you only have to get find two uh, you only have to find two of the pills on the tubbies say etc um, and just making it a challenge where we go just balls out fast trying to get everything off the list but I was also thinking with these unofficial community patches coming out so much added to them as well uh, of doing a, a community patch hunt um, where basically I go through all the community patches that have come out, write down all the new drops, uh, a bit like these episodes here, um, but just do them as quickly as possible. So instead of actually going, right, we'll get Colin Zafford's one episode, Bridget Hodunk's the next, Rue the Love Freshers, Moby, Blooming mean, Sigmund, we can just come here one episode and go, right, we've got six new drops to get, let's do it, and then just see how quick it is to get them, and then move on, uh, like half hour episodes, that kind of thing. So yeah, just an idea. Um, let me know what you think of that anyway, if anyone does want to see that. Like I said, I'll probably end up doing it anyway. Um, wish you wouldn't leap there. Right, that's well enough for her. Let's see if we can get some off Colin before we kill them both. Right, they're both very low. But I want them to be stupidly low. Yep, there you go. I've killed them both at the same time. Again. Wow. This episode could not have gone any better. I've not died. I've killed them all very quickly. And we've got the both drops in two runs. Can we get a double drop? Uh, well, I remember to open that chest this time as well. Them chests. Dun, 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 dun. Love the music. Right, you get money shotted. And you die. Oh, there's one more. Like I said, there's normally an ultimate badass comes out, but I ain't seen him. Boom, boom, boom. I'll take that, thank you. We'll take you next episode. Uh, right, nothing from them this time then. Yeah, they both died together, didn't they? So, well, we've got one drop, then the other, and then nothing at all. Well, that's fair enough. So yeah, brilliant. There you go, we've got the kiss of death, the ruby and uh, explained a little bit about a future series that may be coming up if you guys want to see it. What a successful episode. I think it'll be a lot of fun to do a uh, UCP hunt though. Just because I don't think anyone has done it so far. I'm not sure, I haven't looked at this uh, new season of the forum version of the hunt. Much anyway. I wanted to be involved in it, but to be honest, uh, the way my shifts are, um, the way I actually have to record half the week and then not for you know a whole week and then I've got a bulk record and things like that. I don't really live stream much. It's hard to do something like the hunt. I'd love to get involved in it though. You know, if I ever got to the point in my shifts where I've got my eight days off and the hunt starts right at the beginning of it, then poor boy, could we get a lot of things to drop? But uh, no. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Really, we've enjoyed. Next episode, like I say, we're going to be going after Rue the Love Fresher and hopefully getting his drop. 
Um, so yeah, more about that next episode. Thank you guys for watching. We really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.